As it happens, all suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Last time Portland arrested him, he had a gun on him. So he, should be, he had a gun on him, a pistol. That was a couple months ago. And he's been selling uh, methamphetamine out of the house. So if we can go down Flavelle to uh, the first street west of 82nd and just go north and Henderson's the second street. And then we go back east. Uh, two blocks. He's got a uh, blue, like a Chevelle, that's parked in the driveway. When we get there, Bob's going to crash the door. You do the knock and announce, or I'll do the knock and announce. You have the shotgun since this guy's an arm, okay? Do you want me to go right to the front, or where do you want me to park, Pat? Yeah, probably right in front. Okay, so we're going to get out quick, right? There's a blue Chevelle right Okay, there. guys, we're going to get out quick. Uh, we're going right to the front. You see the blue Chevelle sticking? That's it? That's the house. Okay. We're coming in fast. Let's go right here by the blue Chevelle. This yellow house. Correct. Police, search warrant! Police officer! Police officer! Just hang tough, partner. Okay? We have a search warrant for your residence. You understand that? Yes. Police officers. Okay, I want you to roll over real easy and sit up. A wrist. Oh. Oh. Okay. I want you to stand up real easy. Just real easy. I'll put your head right over here on the door panel. Stand up. Yeah, just rest your head right there on the door panel, right there. And don't move. Where's that uh, stuff at? Uh, I'll do a quick field test on it. There's some uh, crystal in those two brown bottles. You can check that too. You got the 357 and 17 rounds. This stuff here? $400 a gram. Really? That's right. I think so. I hope so. This stuff really went hot. Real hot. I don't know. Yeah, we got crystal meth here. Bam. Look at that. Bright. I wish people would engrave their valuables with more than their initials, like their driver's license or social security numbers. That's far more helpful in recovering stolen property. We're finding so much stolen property here, it's going to probably be easier for us to get a hold of the victims, ask them to call me here in the van, and they're going to come down here, hopefully, and identify this property. We're pretty sure that everything in the garage is stolen. Camera. Yeah, it's some nice stuff. I can't believe it's not engraved. It's the second VCR or uh, cable box we've got, and the guy don't got cable. What's this tell us? And uh, we were doing a raid here, and we saw some, your name on some tools here, so we thought we. We might give you a call. You might come in here and take a look at some of this stuff. I mean, there's stuff everywhere. It's kind of a mess, but the stuff where we found your tools with, were in those drawers over there. Yes? Yeah. Let me show you, I think, what I found with your name. Tools out for it. I got the serial number off my box that I had at home. Uh huh. And it apparently is the same serial number 041380. 041380. I guarantee I'll believe you before I believe the guy that was in this house. It's the same one. Yeah. Thank you. 
That's it. That's it. That's it. Cause that's it. I've got the other groups at home. Okay. Uh, that's not my holster. Pat, though. that's not your holster. No. Uh, how do we? How do you think? Maybe I'll just go ahead and release this. If you take a picture of him. Ma'am, you have more serious problems than that. Sergeant John Manel, the Homeland County Sheriff's Office. We did this just a search warrant on your house. And we have seized a sizable amount of illegal narcotics. And we seized a whole truck full of stolen property. I didn't know anything about it. Okay. It's not mine. Well, I can't believe you didn't know anything about it. It was all over the house. I, at least you come in Michael, I'll show you Michael's what's mine. in custody. Well, you come in I'll show you what's mine. Okay. okay. Which bedroom in this house is yours? It's a far back bedroom. Far back right. bedroom? Okay, you don't know anything about what was in the house, in the kitchen, in the front room, the or in the... The kitchen is my stuff. Okay, the drugs are your stuff? What drugs? What we arrested Michael for. I don't know anything about it. Well, why don't we go in the house and I'll I'd show like you. I'd like to. He's paid for this stuff. It's not mine. Uh, well, you show me any bills of sale for any of this stuff. Well, you show me any bills. bills of sale for any of this stuff. There have been bills around. Right? Well, we oh, sure didn't God. find any, and he wouldn't give us any. Well, you told me it was your house. This house has illegal narcotics and illegal stolen property in your house. Kind of try to discourage people from living down here on the street so they don't become victims. We have found body parts down here. Uh, people stabbed to death. An area like this draws people that are hiding from the police, you know. And a lot of the transients are ex-convicts. It's a good place to go and hide. Grow a beard, nobody will ever know who you are. As a practice, Barry and I try to uh, give them a chance to uh, move, and we inform them that if they come back, we will cite them. It's the uh, hardcore... Uh, when you tell us to go to hell or go to camp here anyway, and then, then you can bank on uh, the fact that you're going to get kicked out. The same ones. Come on out of there. Hey, hey, come on out. Come on. Cooking again. Yeah. Woo! That's tar heroin. It's strong in there. Looks like somebody made the hole a little bit bigger. Just make them pull their pants down when you get them out there. Make them pull their pants down. They're seven. Pull their pants. Okay. Likes to see himself. This one here is under arrest. What's he got? Uh, Where's my jacket? Huh? my jacket? Put your hands behind your head. Put your hands on the back of your head. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid you missed some, pal. Huh? Huh? Yeah? That's star heroin. Yeah, you're under arrest for about the tenth time. Uh huh? Uh, yeah. Why well, you missed this one? Yeah, you missed this one. Yeah. Not yeah. your jacket. Yeah. Hey. What can I say? Yeah. Still my it. job. <coughs> See now you're now you're in trouble. Yeah. Now you're under arrest for a felony. Okay. What can I say, man? All we ask you is to stay out of the area, and that's it. We don't want you to come back. You're a dope dealer. Yeah, I just got hit. On what? Needle. God damn it. Where at? It's in his back pocket. Just 
Just make it bleed as much as you can, Barry. Just keep it bleeding. Well, I hope you don't have AIDS or anything, pal. Take him with you and throw him in the back seat. Hop in. your hands off real good with it. I didn't even see the syringe in his pocket. Right there. The needle was bent. That's I why you got it. you. Yeah. I'm going to take the other one for prohibitive camping. Criminal trespass, actually. Criminal trespass on the uh, highway right away. Let Randy Sewell go down and sign a complaint. Oops. Now well, there goes that one. And most of them, if you talk to them about it, you say, if you got a needle, tell me. I don't want to stick myself. And they'll, they'll look you right in the eye and lie to you. Now i got to worry about this for the next 10 years. <laughs> yeah, hi, this is Joy's husband. Now, I was wondering, could I talk to the doctor for just a second? Yeah. I got stuck with the syringe, and I was wondering if there's anything I should do. Thanks. My wife's clinic. His date of birth. <laughs> Good idea. I really don't think there's a whole lot you can do, but you know, if, you know, if I soak my finger in bleach, that's what I'll do. Is that right? I'll soak your finger in boiling bleach. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate to bother you, but uh, I'm at work and we arrested a couple of dopers. And I accidentally uh, was stuck with his syringe. And he's a doper. I don't know if he's got AIDS or not. But I was just curious um, if there's anything I should do at this point. You don't need a sight wheel on the criminal okay. trespass on him if I got a PCS, do I? feel better. And I think Joy would appreciate that. Well, <laughs> okay. That one's clean. He said, he said to me that the chances of getting AIDS off of a syringe would be like a couple hundred to one. He said you'd stand a better chance of getting hepatitis. Well, we've gone through those series of shots, which is supposed to last you for a lifetime. So. Oh, I tell you. Officer's nightmare, huh? First couple of days we're down here when this when this fair opens, we try to set the tone with our dealings with people. We try to get rid of the elements that are going to cause the problems. And people see this. And when they come down to the park and see what happens with other people, they come down and they, they, they have a tendency to walk a straighter line and not get, in, not get into too much trouble. <laughs>
can't have a knife. You're gonna get excluded from the park, okay? You can't have any knives in the park, no weapons. Three weapons so far. How's it three weapons? Three knives so far. No, it's not. It's not a knife? No, it's knife, but you, as long as I got in the open, it cannot be taken. See, when you're sneaky like this, then we have to make a point to make sure you don't do that again. So let's come on out to the end of the park and we'll write you an exclusion. Right, what? An exclusion. So that you don't come back in the park. So we can't have everybody in here with drinking, otherwise things get out of control. Yeah. And if we don't do anything about you coming in here and drinking, then everyone else will think it's okay with them. Okay? Yeah. Come on, let's go out here and we'll uh, wait one up. Look at this, another baggie with residue. Residue? What is residue, though? Okay, what is residue? What is residue? It means little particles okay, resin, of dope. No. Resin, residue do not have nothing to do with dope, okay? Because you got to have a certain amount, amount to be in order for to have dope. James, you're okay. You know that? Because you're okay, I don't think we're going to take you to jail for dope. <laughs> but I think, we'll, I think what we'll do is we'll just exclude you from the park. Hey, Friday in 70, when we started this whole thing, people go nuts. So it's up to us to kind of set the tone on what we're going to do. And we have zero tolerance for anybody who's doing anything stupid. We exclude all these people from the park. They come back in, we arrest them for trespassing. They get a ticket, basically, no big deal. But by excluding as many as we can in the beginning, we eliminate most of our problems. What about my cousin? What are you doing? Your what? My cousin. He was carrying a concealed until he got concealed All we're going to do, partner, I mean, it's under three inches. I came down here to have fun. I wasn't causing no trouble. You don't come down. You don't come down here. Drunk, number one. You don't come down here carrying a weapon, number two. All right? That's just real simple rules to follow. What are you doing down here tonight, man? What's your last name? Why you got to know my last name, man? I just want to know your last name. Why you want to know my name? I'm just asking you your name. Tell me what your name is. Why you got my stuff, man? Don't raise your voice, sir. If you raise your voice, we're going to have some problems, OK? So do us a favor. Don't make a big scene, all right? We don't like that. We got a lot of problems with people with guns in the park. We're trying to offset the problems with people with guns in the park. People have big bulges. Just pat them down let them go. No big deal, all right? Unless you choose a different path, OK? Here's your license. Have a nice evening. Sorry about it. OK. <laughs> for interfering because you wouldn't interfering. leave when I told you to leave. Nobody. I told you to leave, remember? No. No, you don't remember? That's why you're in there, pal. Okay. So he's not going to... You guys can say what you want. Do we hit the on him? No. Step out, pal. What for? Because I want you out here. Why do you want me out there? I Step out there, Ed. I haven't done anything wrong. Tell the news what is going on. You litter. Yeah, of course. Now, get back in there. We got crazy in the wagon. Several. Yeah. No, you heard that, Chelsea. You must leave the grounds now. The park is now closed. 